Um, you guys, what's going on? It's me, KLV, and today I'm gonna show this basically a God mode hill build. Now, if you've been playing Warframe for a long time, like I have, you know more or less about this, and it literally was happening about two years ago. Well, probably not even two years probably like a little bit shorter than that but basically when hildren came out this was kind of a thing and they've still not like done a nerf to it now i hope that they do nerf this just because of the simple fact that it just makes steel paths so much more easier now the one downside is you can't use your abilities but you're mainly using hildren to stay alive with getting more shield and giving the ally shield i normally play solo so you don't really need to use your abilities to be honest so what I mean by this is basically if you have one mod that is energy siphon you instead of gain energy you will gain shield so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a quick build real quick with just energy siphon on so if you see here we've got just energy siphon on and what this will do is give us more shield instead of energy so we'd have a shield more of a shield regain rate now this mod is absolutely broken on shield on the uh, hill drum. so if we just spawn at 13 bombards for example you could do any now the reason why I'm doing actual uh, gameplay for this is just for the simple fact that it's just going to be the same there's no point in me doing like a one hour survival for this because it's going to be the same no matter what because of shield gating so if you see here we've got all bombards attacking us and everything and you see we are not even taking no health damage we are not taking no health damage because we are constantly gaining that shit that one shield that is basically keeping us alive so now basically if you know what shield gating is now shield gating is basically where when all your shield is depleted you will have a couple of seconds like one second to basically not take no damage at all like you saw so now with that one second cooldown with that one second shield gating you will then regain your energy because hildren regains a shield quite quickly and yeah so because she regains a shield quite quickly combined with energy siphon then yeah now if you don't have energy siphon for some reason what you could also do is also use a decaying dragon key now i normally just use this in general now the reason why you want to use this is because it actually gives you more shield recharge rate so now if we just spawn if we just pause unpause these real quick and i will show you again it basically be this, the exact same basically the exact same uh, system now again you don't have to use a decay if you don't want to but i always just use it anyway so there's no point really me taking it off but if you see here it's you can't die like we are not taking no health damage at all and yeah it's it's really really broken like if you just see on just how god mode you basically are now okay what we'll do is we'll test it on some heavy guns now they are constantly shooting at us so it will make it a little bit more easier if you know what i mean so we will do some heavy gunners now this is like really really broken you can go into any steel path mission and literally complete it with ease like exterminate mission you don't have to worry about dying you just have to worry about basically doing damage that's all you have to do and yeah now you do get knocked down but uh yeah if you just see here we are obviously constantly taking damage from this uh this this guy right here and just because of shield gating we are not taking no health damage at not not so ever. now again doesn't matter with what the enemy types is except for infested with toxin that is kind of the downside to it toxin does make it so it basically it would go for your health instead but I'll, I'll show you guys a way on how you can actually counteract that so a way on how you can counteract that would be basically true god mode with hildren because all you need is energy siphon energy siphon makes your shield basically never go down but now you want to basically build around if you have infested enemies but if you're using hildren for infested then i don't know so start off when you use it, vitality vitality increases your health and then you also want to combine this with a rolling god now what rolling god will do is then basically make it so when you roll all the statuses will basically go away and also make you go invulnerable this basically gives you enough time the vitality gives you enough time to realize oh i've got toxin on me to roll and get rid of that status and then go invulnerable and if you have heal and return for example on your melee then yeah there you go you can heal so already with these two mods you are already not gonna, not gonna die by toxin already from these two mods because you can obviously have enough health to not basically get one shot and you have rolling guard on here 
Now what you could also do if you really want to is add on also adaptation. Adaptation is a really good mod that if you don't have I highly recommend getting it. Basically uh, when damaged, so for example you get a toxin on you, it will give 10% resistance to that damage type for 20 seconds stacks up to 90. So you can get up to 90% uh, toxin resistance. So that will be good if you get infested, it will help out a ton. Uh, if you want you could also go you could go with the umbral mods if you really want to but it's not really needed Then yeah, next is just go with whatever you want to go with like there's no There's no limit here now what I've done is on my config a I've added eclipse onto here now Eclipse basically gives us that damage increase So we're gonna have a nice amount of damage increase It's not really the damage reduction we're looking for is the damage increase that we are looking for now This is normally what I've run. I don't know why I have streamline on here for some reason yeah, I would have basically this build on here, uh, get rid of the uh, fleet expertise, put on adaptation because for some reason I had that on. But yeah, this is the build that I would normally run. Now, again, we have got the energy siphon for basically can't die right there. We have got a, some gladiator mods so we can have more crit chance, more armor, nice. Continuity for the duration. We got more narrow minor for duration because we don't need range because we're not going to be using our th uh, uh, two, three, and four abilities. We're mainly just going to be using our one. Reason why is because that is going to give us a damage increase. And it is also basically we can't die anyway. So this basically gives us shield. So yeah, the uh, pillage replenishes Hildren's own shield. What we don't going to need because we're going to basically not going to die anyway. So we don't need shield. Uh, three, it does damage to enemies, but it's not worth it. And then yeah, basically energy siphon. That's it, and that's all you really need. That's all you really need to be god mode. Now in steel path, yes, you're not going to be using your abilities because your abilities are not going to work because you are also going to be taking a lot of damage. Again, it doesn't matter on how much damage they do because the shield gate is a thing, but they do more damage to your shield, meaning that you're not going to be able to do any ability stuff because they're basically going to instantly get rid of your shield. Then shield gate will kick in, get you back up to one shield, and then they'll get rid of that one shield. Shield gate will kick in, you get back up to one shield, and so on. Now it is super broken. It is super broken. Now I did this on the stream, uh, testing out if it still was a thing or not. What it turns out it was, and I'm kind of surprised because it is really is broken. Like it seriously is. Like you can't die with Hildren. Again, downside is that you can't really use your abilities. But if you can basically not die, then that is already on its own broken. That is already on its own broken, in my opinion. And uh, it makes it kind of... Makes Steel Essence kind of not fun, if you play this, in my opinion. Now, people will play this to try and get through Steel Essence and all that. And it's just kind of like a go-to, like, oh, I don't want to die, I can't be bothered. Do a long survival farm Steel Essence. Well, it is good for farming Steel Essence. It is a good uh, way to farm Steel Essence. Just bring a decent melee. I'm currently working on dual carers build with ribbons and everything. But yeah, if you want to farm Steel Essence, this is basically a perfect way because you can't die. Even by the Acolytes. I was testing this on the stream in the Steel Path. And yeah, you literally cannot die as you probably saw by the starting clip as well. That you literally can't die. It is, it is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But yeah. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. We very much appreciate it and it helps me out a ton. Especially dropping that like. It makes more people see the video. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.